Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Oh yeah, people. We made it back to the shop. Now I'm getting ready to put my glass on my gear doors. And uh get this uh we'll try to get all this stuff ready to paint this week. Next week's painting time. Got a couple things I want to show you for my hat deal already. Wouldn't got my paint today. It is right there, baby. Oh yeah. Got my paint. Look what else got here. My uh, valve I'm gonna use for my retracts. Now I got everything. This is actually operated by a solenoid. There's the solenoid there, and that makes that'll give me my up and down for my landing gear. Well, I was there. They got a bunch of surplus cylinders there, too. I can pick up. I got this for 20 bucks. This is like a spring air, okay? It's already got the spring inside of it, and it's a pretty stout one. So, this will give us some nice pressure to work them big old landing gear along with that big old pump I got. And this is going to work good, people. But I ain't got time to play with that right now. I already know my system's going to work. I just have, I don't want to put any oil in that plane until I get it after it's painted. That way if I get a little sloppy little oil on it. We all know me, I like to get a little sloppy every <laughs> And it won't be no big deal. So I got all my, all my parts are laid up. Oh, I got to show you something. Bam, there's them wings. <laughs> oh, dad was supposed to come by today, but I didn't talk to him, and I had a bunch of stuff to do anyway, so I figured I'll give him a call this evening and see if he can swing by tomorrow. Help me lug that big old thing outside and give them wings a test fit. Then I'm going to lay these up with carbon. I'll probably lay one up tonight after my interview. Yeah, people, don't forget about my interview tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm this week in Radio Control. So we can give him his weekly update on the bomber. You guys get on in them chat rooms. If you got any questions you want to ask, get in them chat rooms. Oh, I got something else I want to share with you too. One of our few female subscribers, y'all know her, Starfighter Annie. She's going to be doing some double duty dudes. She is going to be one building woman this summer. I'm guessing she's teaching because she didn't really tell me what she's done. She just told me school's almost out for the summer. So either she's going to school or she's a teacher. You know, I'm not sure which one, but but anyway, she's going to build that 104 this summer. And her son, this is a 16 year her 16 year old son. She's going to be teaching him how to build a Hawker Tempest Mark II. Okay, guys, now listen up. This ain't no no ordinary little Hawker Tempest. This thing's going to have a 140-inch wingspan, 140.5. It's going to be 115 inches long. The engine's to be announced. Uh, Hawker Tempest, okay, that's got to count kind of like a P-40. Am I right on that? I believe so. So she can take a big double cylinder. You know, when I was doing my GB, and I was looking at engines, and if you're watching this, listening to this, uh, you might check this out before you go looking too far into engines. You know, I ended up putting a two, uh, 3W240 on my GB, okay? And that was a big twin. And yes, it flew it fine. But after I bought it, I found that I could buy a dang Rotec for ultralight airplanes for about the same money and got to get a lot more CCs. So type in Rotec. Uh, man, you can get 300 CC inline twin uh, for the same money as you can buy a remote control engine for. And you might even be able to find a used one. So 
so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, count the road tech out. That sure pull a big old warbird with no problem. Dang ultralight engine. <laughs> but you know, that 240 and they got onboard starters on them. You know, hit a button, start. Oh yeah. You know, if I would have found them before I bought my uh, that 3W240, I, I probably would have went with it. You know, and got a lot more CCs for the same money. You know? <laughs> so, you might check that out. Rotec. I believe they're made in Canada. But, you know, because she hasn't decided on no engine yet. And then she was ta telling me, I was asked her, asked her how old her son was. We was kind of emailing him back and forth. And uh, he's only 16. And I'm not sure how much building flying experience he has, but I'm taking it. He can fly, and he wants him a big old Tempest. I guess her husband. Her husband don't fly, people. I figured her husband was a big-time RCer, but he's not. But he goes to the flying field and stuff with him, and and I guess they get some strange looks when, you know, <laughs> she grabs the transmitter, and he's just there to watch. Don't that seem kind of backwards? <laughs> but it's all good, you know. It's all good. I think there should be more females like that myself. But I'm going to tell you something straight up. My wife ain't touching my chance. <laughs> no, she don't know how to fly. She knew how to fly, I'd let her. But she don't get to play with my transmitter. <laughs> but she says she's going to be doing some double duty, and they're building both of them at the same time. And, and they're going to make some videos. Says she's gonna do it B1 Bob style. You know what that means? That's ten minutes at a time, baby. Oh yeah. But when it comes, when she gets it all built, uh, I don't know which one, but whichever the first one to, to be built, that she's gonna make all these out of fiberglass, people. She's going to do the same thing. She's gonna build plugs. And everything's going to be molded on both of them. So, but she's never molded anything, I'm taking it. So when she gets that thing ready to mold, she says, she's going to drive out. I'm going to give her a glasses lesson. She's just going to bring the family and make a vacation now and I said come on down come on down Put this, get this glass on here. This is some four ounce. This is going to be the inside of my gear door. And I don't want these things warping ever, ever. Ten years from now, I want these gear doors just as flat as they are right now. So I put used light ply instead of balsa. I figure. I figured like this, my buddy John might grab these sticks every now and then. And you know how he is on <laughs> a landing gear. <laughs> no, I just want them tough. Tough and rigid. Not that John's a bad pop. Oh, an update on that landing last weekend. On John's F-16. Uh, Somehow the gear just got retracted. I don't know. He said it happened right when he hit the brakes. So. But he claims he didn't hit the retract switch. But I'm wondering. 